a 99-year-old Italian man has filed for divorce uh, from his wife of 66 years after finding out that she cheated on him back in the 1940s. In the 1940s. What I love about this guy is he's not letting it go. He's like, how could you do that to me 70 years ago? You was a lot. <laughs> Apparently they had marital problems before and he was pissed. He's in his 90s before. Yeah. And he's like, I've had enough of her. And went to his son's house and lived there for a while. Yeah. They talked him back into coming to live with his wife. He's going through the attic. He's looking through some stuff. He's like, what is this? He <laughs> finds old love letters where she's like, oh, yeah, I remember when da 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 and I loved it. And, and he's like, what? <laughs> okay. So he goes and confronts her. And she thinks, I mean, God, it's been 70 freaking years. We lived yeah. together for 70 years. Yeah. At least if I cleanse my soul and I tell him, it'll be all right. She says, all right, I, I, I did it. I'm so sorry. He's like, yeah, I divorced you. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, my guess is he'll probably get over it. Why, I mean, why wouldn't he get over it? No, my guess is he's... Uh, it's so, I mean... Had enough. It's so irrelevant. It's going to stop. <laughs> he told his wife. End of this. <laughs> No, you know why? He's obviously sick of his wife to begin with. Then he finds out this old wound, and we don't know the situation. It was probably some, you know, Rico Suave guy, you know, back in the day, you know, who got it on with his wife, and he's pissed about it, and he won't let it go. Mm -hmm. I think if you're 99 and you want to get divorced and you want to go on, who knows? Maybe they find some new girl to hook up with. He's, oh, he's please. Italian. Please. Okay, I don't know. I'm kind of rude. Well, I mean, I feel bad has, for her. I, I feel bad for both of them because they have like a few months left, probably. And it's oh. like, just enjoy. You don't want to die alone. She's the most <laughs> ageist person I know. No, I'm not ageist. He's 99 years old. He's not a freaking spring chicken. Well, then maybe he should spend a little. I mean, if you spent what 70 years with a woman, and maybe you want to spend your last year by yourself, it feels good to be alone sometimes. It, yeah, time served. <laughs> <I'm really laughs> And he's like, finally, I get to watch what I want on TV. <laughs> All right, uh, real quick, would you leave her? Totally. I, I'm rooting for this guy. <laughs> leave her. Leave her. Yes. Oh, who cares? You're 99. You know what? The thing is, so, okay, now if it's the other way around and some dude cheated for 20 years, back in the day, you've been with him for 50 years, uh, but for the last 30 years, once my mistress died, then I'm okay. It's, man, chicks would be like, are you kidding me? So you lied to me for ha almost half of our marriage? Hey, it's not about the uh, affair. It's that you lied to me, <laughs> okay? And why can't Luigi do the same? <laughs> By the way, that's not his name. <laughs> hey, Sus, you also leave? Uh, probably not. Knowing me, I'd probably be too much work at 99. Do I really want to go through all that stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'd be too comfortable. He's like, wait, who would make my food? <laughs> He's like, oh, see, oh, forget it, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I like how JR is trying to set, uh, send a message today. Don't even think about it. But I'll can remember I just, for 70 freaking years. Can I just say something about it really quick? I think it's because I'm under the assumption that if you're going to be married that long, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. They've been married for 77 years, not 66. But if you've been married for that long, I, I'm under the assumption that someone's going to cheat. It, it's it's <laughs> inevitable. It's inevitable, right? I don't want to find out about it. I don't want it to happen with my friends knowing about it. But it's gonna happen, right? But so, imagine that if you saw the letters, and like it was like, oh, and uh, you know, I. It was like a hot Latina chick, dude, and he's telling her like, oh, I love your long dark okay, hair. Okay. All right. Oh, and I yeah. love sleeping in your bosom. That yeah, night. dude. Yeah. It's been it's been what 50 years? They said right. She saved the letters. She, why she, she put she it said, in the attic. Why does she still have the letters? Yeah, she should if have burned that. If it's so nothing, <laughs> and who cares? And she still got the letters. I mean, and, and when I saw it, I would think... You don't know me, and I don't know you. I mean, I, do I even know you that you were sleeping well, in the bosom of this guy? So, so would you leave? Would you leave her? Oh, of course I would. You better not do that. It has been docked for like 25 years. Like... What am I going to do, get laid at 99? Yeah, no. that's what I'm saying. Oh, you're ageist. You're ageist. No, no, here's what I'd do. No, 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 here's what I would do. Here's what I'd be like, where's the nearest massage bar? <laughs> <laughs> it's strike back time. <laughs> nice and easy. Nice and easy. Would I leave him? No, 
now I wouldn't leave him. I'm in my 90s. It's fine. I, I don't care. I'm not going to go out looking for tail from someone oh God, else. She would be in a rage over the letters. I would be upset, but it happened in the 1940s. If he like, said, what am I? Oh, I loved cuddling with you. At that point, I probably had hair. a few affairs of my own, so it's fine. <laughs> I like their preemptive strike back. Well, she doesn't even know. She's like, just in case I discover letters in an attic 50 years from now, let me go get some right now. All right, that's how they roll, man. That's why you got to keep an eye on it.